The Australian Tapestry Workshop is regarded as a world centre for one of Western civilization's oldest and richest art forms. One of only a small number of like-minded organisations in the world, the workshop, based in South Melbourne, boasts an international reputation for the freshness, vitality and technical excellence of its hand-woven tapestries. Over 400 tapestries have been created since the Australian Tapestry Workshop was established in 1976. Designed by pre-eminent artists, they hang in a range of public buildings and private collections around the world. Every year, about 10 million people see a tapestry created by the workshop. Tapestries' rich colors, strong images, handmade tactile surfaces, and range of scale from palm size to monumental make it an exciting artistic medium to work in. The richness of woven color is derived from the mixing of multiple strands of specially dyed yarns, a technique that is one of the hallmarks of the workshop. Tapestry is ideally suited to large spaces and complements the varied surfaces and materials of modern architecture by creating an atmosphere of warmth and colour. It also has the wonderful capacity to absorb ambient noise. Since inception, the workshop's philosophy has been to employ weavers who are trained artists so that they can work closely with the artists who are asked to design the tapestries to create unique works of art rather than just reproduce a design in woven form. Each tapestry is the result of a dynamic interaction between an artist and the weaver, and of course, the collector or client. Many notable Australian and international artists have collaborated with the workshop's artist weavers over the years. We have always engaged with contemporary artists. Indeed, it's our practice to work with living artists, and the work is always very contemporary. It's the work of our artists practicing today. We have a wonderful tapestry by David Noonan, uh, who is now living in London, which will be shown at the Haywood Gallery in London, which is a great privilege for us to be seen in such an international contemporary forum. But that is characteristic of uh, much of the work of the workshop, that we're working with the up and coming and very contemporary artists of today. And the work is vital because of that. One of the beautiful things for me personally about having worked at the workshop is that in a way there's a real old world feel about the workshop itself and that the process of making a tapestry is in some ways very, very rooted in old world craft skills, some of the oldest craft skills in fact. But what was fantastic was that I was able to introduce into that a kind of digital sort of overlay, I suppose. So what became apparent to me was that the workshop itself is in no way old world in its thinking, that there's this beautiful sort of paradox that the end product is something that's completely handmade and which, you know, is very labour intensive and, um, is very carefully and um, acutely crafted, but the rationale is completely contemporary. And you know, as an artist, that's very exciting. When you see your work pulled into being in a very unexpected format, and you've got absolute faith in what the weavers are doing for you, what it is in the end is a very beautiful collaboration. The workshop's dye lab, recently refurbished, has the capacity to produce regular supplies of high-quality yarns in a wide range of colours. The workshop's retail hub presents high-quality yarns in a palette of 370 colours, as well as related merchandise, including specialist publications and cards. Contemporary tapestry responds to the many different ways in which artists are creating images. So from 
textured paintings to digital photographs to watercolours, the weavers themselves have to translate that in a series of experimental steps. There's no formula. They, they are using the raw material of the wool and the structure of the loom and really creating a quite different object, but one that is faithful at the same time to that artist's original work. In that sense, it's a reflection, not a mirror image, it's a reflection, but it's a, a, an inventive, independently creative form. I, it's a wonderful, set, translation is the term. It's a wonderful translation, and within that process of translation, there is great experimental scope for the weavers because they're responding to the many different ways in which artists are making work. It's stimulating, it's challenging, and it's creative. You get to work with living Australian artists. You get to have a dialogue, a conversation with them. And I guess it's the act of collaboration or interpretation that um, interests me. For fire and water moths, swamps and lava flows of the Hamilton region, John Walsley created an original design as a result of spending a week painting and recording in the wilds of the Hamilton region in Victoria. For the weavers, the challenge was to create in tapestry the washes of translucent paint and detailed pencil lines that make up Wolseley's art. The workshop continues to build an international reputation through tapestries designed by indigenous artists and commissioned expressly for Australian embassies. The sixth embassy tapestry, Ungayuku Ungura, or This Is My Country, was designed by Nyankulia Watson for the Rome Embassy. Watson's tapestry is based on a painting of the same title. She was born around 1938 at a rock hole near Mount Aloysius in remote Western Australia, close to the South Australian border. And her painting references the many rock holes near her birthplace. The lines, she says, are the tracks in the sand from all the people walking to the water holes and places where the bush foods grow. Here we see the finished tapestry being cut from the loom, following six months of weaving. In Rome, the tapestry will be displayed in the dining room of the ambassador's residence. We are very keen to work both in tapestry as a traditional medium and to also push the bounds of tapestry as far as we can in very interesting directions. What the Australian Tapestry Workshop demonstrates is that tapestry as a contemporary form is alive and well and is in a very dynamic and healthy state. It's fantastic that over recent years so many contemporary artists have worked here and left this workshop understanding the great potential of tapestry as a new form for them and a form that has a rich tradition, but as this workshop demonstrates, has an incredible future life because of what it can achieve with these remarkable objects. They're tactile, they're alive, they're warm, and they're just fantastic to be around.